Hi, thanks for tuning in. I'm Susan, and today I'm going to show you how to paint the perfect stripe every time. Now I know what you're thinking, painter's tape, but even the most expensive painter's tape doesn't work every time, especially on a textured surface. Now I've already made this board. I've covered it with two coats of white paint, then I taped off the stripes and used the color. I have a trick so simple, it's going to make you mad you didn't think of it yourself. Here's a sample board I've already painted. I used an artist canvas board to show that you can get a perfect stripe even on a textured surface. How many times have you ended up with results like this? And think how disappointed you were when you pulled the tape only to find that the paint had seeped. All that time and effort wasted. I'm going to start from the beginning. I have a sample board here that I've already put two coats of base color on and I went ahead and put the first piece of tape on. I'm just going to tape out the board and then show you the trick. All right, now I usually pick my stripe color by the size of the tape because I'm going to go right up next to the edge of that first piece. This piece is really just going to be a spacer piece. So then I go right up next to that one. This way you're going to get perfect spacing every time. Make sure you put press down on those edges though. All right, I'm just going to do a couple of these because I think you get the idea here. All right, now I'm going to show you the trick. It's so simple. I have my base coat color here. I'm going to take an artist brush and I'm going to paint the edge of the tape. That way, if it does seep, it's going to be the right color. So I'm going to do that to every edge of tape. Once you've painted all the edges of the tape, all you have to do is let it dry. And then you can do the second color. Do kind of feather out your paint though, just so it's not kind of gloppy. I have a sample board here that I've already taped out and I painted the edge of the tape. All we have to do now is add the color. I'm going to want to pull the tape as soon as I'm done painting because it's really not good to leave uh, the tape on. You need to get it off as soon as you can so that it doesn't like pull all the paint off when you go to pull it off. Now also you can use this technique on anything, furniture, walls, hat box, pretty much anything. Also you can tape off any shape, doesn't have to be striped. On that little chest of drawers behind me, I taped off and made a little harlequin pattern and then I used Venetian plaster through a stencil to create a little fleur-de-lis effect. All right, we're almost done with our striping. Okay, it's time to pull the tape. Okay, fingers crossed, here we go. You need to have a trash can right next to you because this tape is wet with paint and you don't want to get it all over everything. Let's see how we did. Perfect. Oops. That's okay. Perfect stripes. I'm going to finish pulling off the tape. Be careful when you're pulling it off because sometimes you kind of get some of that wet paint onto the white stripe. But if that happens, you can just touch it up. 
But see how nice and clean and sharp those lines are? I tell you, before I found this trick, it was pretty hit or miss as to whether or not you'd get a good stripe. There's just one more thing I wanted to show you. I made this board using one color of paint and polyurethane. I simply painted the board with two coats of base color, taped it off, painted the edges, and then I used polyurethane instead of a second color of paint to make the stripe. It's just one way to add pattern without introducing another color. It's subtle, but it's fun. Thanks for watching. Remember, be creative and have some fun.